Why do so many old Soviet fighters trail black smoke? Is it bad engineering or a tactic? Quick truth, it's combustion chemistry and engine era. Older turbojets ran fuel rich at key power settings. Rich mix leaves unburned carbon, visible soot. Early turbofans did it too, especially during transients. Rapid throttle changes spike richness and smoke. Afterburner dump-in can add a brief dark plume. Fuel quality variability can worsen soot. Decades ago, emissions limits were looser. Design goals prioritized thrust and reliability. Mechanical fuel controls, close coarser mixture control, efficiency took a back seat to raw performance. Incomplete combustion makes carbon particles, smoke. Early mixers and atomizers weren't as precise. Many legacy models smoke at cruise and climb. Yes, smoke pods can mark targets, separate from engines, but intentional smoke is rare versus engine cause soot. Newer engines use better burners and controls. Electronic fuel control keeps mixtures leaner. Result, far less visible exhaust on modern jets. Improved combustors burn fuel more completely. Cleaner burn equals fewer soot particles. Bottom line, older tech plus rich combustion. Unburned carbon becomes that black trail. Lower grade or contaminated fuel can amplify it. It's engineering evolution, not mystery. See the soot? That's incomplete burn. Older designs smoke more. Modern ones, much less. Want model-by-model -model breakdown? Tap follow for part 2.